Good day viewers, you are welcome to Solubu Tutors. The chief examiner of WAEC has given out eight errors which always make people to fail physics every year. These eight errors, some of them are very simple and some of them are somewhat trickish. So in this channel, in this video today, I will tell you the eight errors. So the first one in terms of physics is unit. If you are writing this work, you have to be careful of units. So I will be talking about three categories in terms of units. The first category is that students carelessly skip units at the end of their answer. So the second thing is the conversion. Most of the time, physics question comes in wrong units. For example, length. They can give you centimeter in length. You have to convert the centimeter to meters. I will make a, another video to teach you on how to convert from one unit to another. It's a very simple thing. I will make another video on that. So that's the reason why I always tell people that are watching. You have to subscribe. Like this channel. Subscribe and share with friends. By subscribing every video I release, you will surely get it. And I'll be with you till the end of this exam and even afterwards. The third category under unit is parallax error. This deals with practical physics. Parallax error is when you are taking your readings and your high level is not perpendicular to your readings. So you are going to get a wrong reading, which leads to parallax error. So that's number one. Because I told you I'll be telling you eight things. So the second point is in terms of understanding. Students don't always understand questions properly. Okay. Now, when you don't understand the question, you won't be able to interpret the questions. That's the first thing under that. So the second category under understanding is poor interpretation of formulas. You have a formula, you are unable to interpret it properly. I will also make a video very soon before your physics exam. I will make a video on the formulas needed. To pass this physics examination, there are some formulas I'll be dishing out and I will make a good interpretation of it. So the video will be coming very soon. So that's why you have to subscribe. So, number two, poor understanding. I've said that. So, under that, poor interpretation of formulas. Okay. And the third category under understanding is inability to follow instructions to details. Permit me to take two minutes of your time to give you. An explanation, a deep explanation on uh, instruction. It has been observed that most students did not read instruction properly before they dumble and they start writing the examination. Instruction is very, very important, no matter how many the instruction might be. I went for an interview. We are 100 that are to sit for the examination. The examination is 50 questions. 50 questions for 15 minutes. So we thought that it's not possible for us to finish the question within 15 minutes, 50 questions. But the instruction we are to read is in the page. A page is full of instruction. The exam is of four pages. A page is full of instruction, like 12 instructions. So me that I know the advantage of instruction. So I have to read it properly. I took my time, irrespective of the short time given to us. So after getting to number 12 of the instruction, the number 12 of the instruction says, start the question from number 50. So I started the question from number 50. The 50, number 50 question says, write your name and your surname. Number 49 says, your sex and your state of origin. Number 48 asks of your intention of what you will do for the company. Okay. And number 46, I think, told me, to take my script and go out through the small door. On getting to the small door, I met a security man there. He was shouting on me, what do you do there? What do you want? I have to tell him that the instruction said I should go through the small door. On entering the small door, I saw the panelists waiting for me for the interview. So out of 100 candidates, three of us were able to follow instructions and were able to skate through, through the interview. So that's just a lesson for us to learn. Please read your instruction properly. So going to number three now. Equation of motion is a problem in physics. Every year, students are failing the equation of equation of motion. I will also make a video very soon 
or an equation of motion. And now you can prove it. I will simplify it. Equation of motion leading to projectile, vertical motion going up one and down. So number four now, definition of terms without specific keyword. Students are making mistake. They define terms. They don't put the specific keywords. Let's take for example, Boyce law. Boyce's law states that the volume of a given mass of a gas is inversely proportional to the pressure, provided the temperature remains constant. If you are marking, what we always expect, we always look for number one, volume of a fixed mass of a gas. That's one keyword. Another keyword is inversely proportional. Another keyword. Okay? So the what? Pressure. Another keyword. Make a 3D max there, just for that alone. Provided temperature remain constant, another keyword, that's four marks. And those four marks is either you get it all or you miss or you get zero. So we have to look at keywords and make sure that we memorize it very well when we are dishing out what they ask of us. Okay. Another thing that is very, very important is that people misconcept. Okay. People misconcept divine for explanation. A lot of students are failing because of that. When YF asks you to divine, you should know that, that they're asking for definition strictly. And when they ask you to explain, that's when you have to explain. You have to take care of that very well. So number five, poor mathematical, arithmetic, and computational skills. This deals with mathematics. I will also release video by God's grace on mathematics, how you can work your math. Those are little, little errors that affect mathematics. Because this is mathematical, but it reflects in physics. Number six, this deal with graph. Physics, most especially practical physics. If you have done your practical very, very well, and you are unable to do your graph, <laughs> that's a big problem. Because graph carry a lot of maths. Just from the graph, you now interpret, and you take out things. So on that graph, poor choice of scale, that's the first thing I will talk about there. People did not know how to scale. I can, I can also make a video on scaling. But if you want me to make a video, if I can see 50 comments that said make video on scaling of graph and interpretation of graph, I will do that. So the first thing is scaling on that graph. The second is drawing line of best fit. Because there are some graphs that will not give you a straight line. The dot will be somehow not straight. But you have to find the line of best fit. There is a way to do it. Okay? So the third category is interpretation and plotting of graph correctly that involves decimal numbers. Now, when you have a decimal number, how do you plot the graph? There is a special method that we always use for that. How do you scale it? How do you plot it? Okay, I can, I can make a video on that also, but you have to tell me in the comment section, please. Okay, so number seven now. Poor language expression. When you are expressing yourself and you are giving a poor language, that's about English, now reflecting in physics. Okay? So the last one is poor study habits. That's the number eight. How do you study? There are methods and ways to study. If I have the time, I can also make a video on that and teach you how you can study. To know, you can read within 10 or 15 minutes and you understand everything you have read. There are methods for that. And I can also teach that. So those are the eight things that the chief examiners has brought our attention to. That is making people to fail physics. So thank you. God bless you. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Like this video. Share with friends so that that can help us to do more. So see you in another video.